I was looking at my files last night and I saw that uh, you and I have been together since 1997. It's incredible how fast the time goes by. Can you imagine that? You're truly the American story, the American success story. I mean, if you want to work hard enough, I, I still believe there's opportunity out there. What we started with was something fairly small, and of course we've grown over the years, and I've been fortunate to grow with you. So I know where you are now, but I'd really like to know the whole story. I came to uh, the United States in 1962 with my mom. I actually joined her working the tobacco farms uh, when I was 14. As a parent, my mother was a great example for work ethic. She was uh, probably the biggest influence in my life. I went to Wilbraham Academy on a scholarship. From there, I went on vacation to Puerto Rico and uh, met my wife. I embarrassed her into marrying me <laughs> after the fifth proposal. <laughs> well, you're a man of persistence. Oh, so I'm very persistent, and she found that out. Made off for you, right? <laughs> it's been 44 years. When I came into uh, the Fishburg area, I was working in a factory. The way you started RMI is quite interesting. Tell me more about that. Well, I had sold my janitorial service business and I was recruited to sell employee leasing services. Unfortunately, that company was not a good player in the industry. And what they did is they did not pay for workers' compensation, taxes, or health insurance premiums. Our clients were left hanging and some of them uh, were going to have to pay the taxes. I took my own money and from my savings and, and I paid for the, whatever was owed in taxes and workers' compensation. And some of those uh, clients, actually all of the clients, they were my first clients. We started basically by providing a business service that included payroll and workers' compensation. We are a full-fledged human resources company and risk management company. Now we're in 38 states. You do the right thing by people, I honestly believe it comes back to you. What you did for your clients speaks volumes to your integrity and that, therefore it's no surprise to me the success you've had in business. Well, I've been very fortunate, thank you. Mark, how are you? How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks nice to see by. you, my friend, thank you. Hey Alex, Mark, how are you doing? Great to nice see to see you. you. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. Thank you for having oh, great. us. Great. How's business going? Very well, thanks. Yeah. A new person just came on staff, so thank you for That's getting great. that on board. Great. So thank you very much for that. It helps us do what we need to do, which is not think about HR. Well, <laughs> and, and you know what is is a clients like yourself that make it worthwhile for us to still be in business. So I want to thank you for being part of our our team. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, come on, Al. <laughs> Flo, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> I'm doing good. Nice to see you. When you first started, open the door for yourself. How many people were working with you? I had a huge staff. It was myself and my daughter. <laughs> Rachel, you remember this place? Oh, yes. It hasn't changed it a bit. <laughs> no, it hasn't. See that door right there, the rusted one? That was the door I used to go into every morning. There's a tiny little office in there. That, that's our first office, and then from there we moved to our present location where we've been for about 20 years. Rachel uh, has a sense of urgency. She sets herself with goals, and she accomplishes them. Uh, an amazing, amazing drive. Your son Alex, he attended Fitchburg College right here where we are now. He graduated from Fitchburg State University in uh, business management. Mm -hmm. 
He's a good advisor. They have assumed so much of the responsibility. And once uh, I pass the baton to them, they're going to do just fine. Well, they've been prepared they know, are. for a long time now. They are. For me, it's like I'm, I'm seeing where we're going, and then I kind of take a pause, step back, and realize how this all began. You know, a small handful of local clients, and dad working out of your desk. 21 years later, here we are, you know. So. The first days and the first, actually, few years yeah. of RMI were really, really exciting times. Because then we had an opportunity to be able to go into every department and sit in on it and see like what that job, that, that particular task entailed. We were given an opportunity and we grew with the company. Now what quality do you think screams dad? Drive. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Tenacity. Yeah, yeah he's, he's driven. It's, he's he's tenacious. fearless. Just one word. I have a lot of words. Yeah. Natalie, how are you? <laughs> so what brings you to City Hall? Well, we uh, are walking around and trying to show what a great city we live in and the business community. And well, You certainly got my attention with that, that comment. What a great city we live in. Yeah, and so. you're one of our prominent business people in the city and the work you do. And you, you uh, were gracious enough a number of years ago to hire my good friend Rocco Mamoni. Who is now our supervisor yeah, now in our so HR well. department? Great like work. Up in. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. One of the reasons why I respected you so much uh, when we had those early meetings was that you cared about protecting the business and the value that you'd built, both for yourself and your family. But also, very impressive to me was that you wanted to take care of your key employees uh, and you just continued to take one step after another to protect and preserve what you had established. My family includes all those employees. I, I believe that uh, everybody deserves to, to be able to achieve their goals. And our employees, I have too many families that depend on this business, so we have to make sure that we're protected. And you did a good job doing that. Having someone who, uh, like Steve, who's a financial professional, is essential for our business. It gives us uh, the confidence, too, to maybe make bolder choices and decisions in business because we have that uh, in the back of our mind that exactly. we're, we're all set. You certainly have led a fulfilling life. What do you find most fulfilling about your life at this point as you sit and look at it at age 64? I think the fact that uh, we came from extreme poverty to where now I am able to provide for my grandchildren as much as I want. Mm -hmm. and, and we have a great family. And those values you know, that were instilled by my mother are there with my children and my grandchildren. That is very fulfilling for me.